It tells us that Sam and Tom are the only two producers of golf clubs, but they produce slightly different varieties of clubs. It gives us Sam's demand function and Tom's demand function, and Sam, Sam's cost per unit and Tom's cost per unit. And this question is asking, assuming that they simultaneously choose quantities, what price does Tom charge in the Nash equilibrium of this game? Well, we're going to solve this a lot like the homogeneous product oligopoly questions. We're going to start with the profit function. We're going to find that each player's reaction function will have two reaction functions. We'll use substitution to solve for PS and PT. But notice now when we're talking about differentiated products, we're picking our price. So price is our variable. So in homogeneous products, Q was on the right side of the profit function. That was the variable we were choosing, our quantity. Corno quantity, that's an easy way to remember it. And now in Bertrand, we're choosing our price. So price should be on the right side of the profit function. Well, we see that profit for Sam. We do see price on the right side of our profit function. And we want to use this form of profit, price minus marginal cost, all times quantity. This is just the easiest way to look at it. We're going to take the derivative by using the product rule, which is the first times the derivative of second plus second times the derivative of first. First, PS minus 1 times the derivative of the second thing is just negative 5 plus the second thing times the derivative of the first thing, which, which is just 1 in this case. We set that equal to 0, and we crunch through the algebra, and we find that PS is equal to 10.5 plus 0.5 PT. Well, notice there's a plus sign before the 0.5 PT. This means that the reaction functions are upward sloping, which makes sense because if your competitor is, if you're competing in price and your competitor raises his price, well, you're going to want to respond by raising your price as well. So in the homogeneous products, they were downward sloping. We had a negative sign there. In differentiated products, they're upward sloping. We have that positive sign. So we're going to do the same process for Tom and find Tom's reaction function. We solve through this and see that PT is equal to 11.5 plus 0.5 PS. Well, now we can use substitution because we know that P, what PS equals. Plugging that in, now we can solve for PT. In this question, it was just asking us to solve for PT, and we find it to be 22.33.